Another day, another twist in the Wayne Carey saga. He is telling his side of the story on Thursday night at a mental health event in New South Wales held for Are You OK Day. On the way in, he told reporters that he looked forward to the recently announced police investigation into last week's events at Crown Perth. As we know, Kerry was gambling when a plastic clip seal bag containing white powder fell out of his pocket. Wayne said it was crushed up painkillers, which he consumed with his dinner. The croupier thought there was a good chance it was narcotics arriving at this conclusion because they knew the only things transported in Ziploc bags are spare buttons for your new suit or dress... It was a button. <laughs> ..and narcotics. That's a great feeling here tonight. Kerry tonight said... Nothing illegal has occurred here. He then doubled down by saying... They had an opportunity to call the police. If what was alleged that happened, then the police should have been called straight away and they never called the police. Wayne's defence came eight hours after new Crown Resorts boss Kieron Carruthers got a first taste of the shit sandwich he'll be chewing on for the next few weeks, making a public statement. Took him long enough. They were not on the front foot with this one, but in Crown's defence, Carruthers is still working out where the toilets are. Just four days into the job and he found himself on radio saying delicately, that Australia's greatest ever footballer has been telling porky pies about what happened at the casino last Thursday. Carruthers poked two large holes in Kerry's story. First, that Kerry lied when he said he offered the bag to staff for inspection. Carruthers says that claim is contrary to statements by Crown staff and independent witnesses. Sir, I didn't see nothing. Second, that Kerry lied to staff when they asked him if he was staying at Crown. Carruthers says a simple check of the guest list showed a Mr Wayne Carey had indeed booked a room. The emotions are running high today. And when security staff went to said room, they confirmed the Mr Wayne Carey who answered the door with the same Mr Wayne Carey who was Australia's greatest ever footballer and who had been ejected from the gaming floor moments earlier. Vintage Carey. Carruthers has backed the actions of his staff and made the valid point they do not have the power to seize things from patrons, other than cash because they don't act like Robert De Niro's goons in Casino. <laughs> However much they might like to when confronted by belligerent clients. Hit me again. What? Carruthers said he'd change directives so any time staff at Crown think someone might be using drugs, they have to notify the police. Police Commissioner Cole Blanche thinks that should always happen, as does the WA government. You look sceptical. If the staff at Crown phone the cops every time they think someone is on drugs, they're going to have to build a f police station at the casino. Have you been to Crown lately? It looks like a coffin cheaters convention. The 2022 Brownlow count is at Crown Melbourne on September 19. Reckon anyone at that's going to be on the nose beers? You'd need every sworn police officer in Victoria to be there to process the arrests. <laughs> and a hall pack to cart the drugs away. Why stop at Crown? There are people on drugs everywhere. Yeah, we've just had Federal Parliament's midwinter ball in Canberra. There were clearly people on drugs at that event. That was obviously a joke. The women in those dresses are Claudia Perkins, she's the wife of Greens leader Adam Bant, and Senator Sarah Hansen-Young. They took their cue from US Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who attended the Met Gala in New York wearing an outfit emblazoned with a political message the usually annual midwinter ball where politicians pretend to like each other for a whole night in the name of charity has been on ice because of COVID. The first event in three years was mired in controversy because Big Oil was one of the sponsors, something which angered Green Senator Lydia Thorpe, who entered the foyer shouting, this is a hall for fossil fuels. Also a hall for fossils. I have always believed in miracles. Must have given the organisers a headache. I know someone that can help with that. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm Ben Harvey. For more up late, click the subscribe button below.